transition to another phase of this war, targeting the leadership. European arrest. A network preparing a terrorist act. Illnesses linked to applesauce. I never thought my son would be a lead poison child. Good morning, I'm Steve Kathan. With the CBS World News Roundup, more than two months into the Gaza War, President Biden is publicly asking Israel to show restraint, not in the hunt for Hamas, but in military action that could imperil civilians. To be, in his words, more careful. CBS's Ramey and Asensio says it comes as the situation in Gaza remains chaotic. Carrying a bloody boy, this man yells, where is the ambulance? What stood here in Rafa were two homes, now leveled by an Israeli strike. Hamas claimed dozens of civilians were killed. America says it's against Israel targeting civilians, said the survivor, but civilians are being targeted. President Biden is again pressuring Israel for more restraint, more surgical, more precise military strikes. I want them to be focused on how to save civilian lives not stop going after Hamas, but be more careful. In Israel, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan made the case. The issue here is about when the transition from a high-intensity operation to a different phase of this campaign takes place. That should happen in two to three weeks, two U.S. officials now tell CBS News, but followed by lower levels of bombing for several months. There have been arrests in Europe, suspects said to be linked to Hamas, CBS's Charlie Daggett says it's believed an attack plan was in the works. German anti-terror teams say they arrested three men in Berlin, while police in the Netherlands detained a suspect in Rotterdam, all accused of being long-standing Hamas members connected to its military wing. Prosecutors say the suspects plan to store weapons in Berlin for possible attacks against Jewish targets in Europe. The European Union has failed to approve a $55 billion aid package for Ukraine. Hungary blocked the measure. Continued U.S. aid is in jeopardy due to objections from congressional Republicans. A jury in Washington is deciding how much former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani should pay two Georgia election workers for spreading lies about them after the 2020 election. CBS's Scott McFarland. Rudy Giuliani repeatedly said he'd take the stand before the end of his trial and reveal the truth. You heard one side. Stay tuned to my testimony. But he chose not to. His attorney presented no case after days of dramatic testimony from Georgia election worker Shea Moss and her mother Ruby Freeman in tears on the stand, Moss and Freeman described vulgar, vile, and racist threats they received after the 2020 election, like these voicemails played for the jurors. Hey, I hope you like jail because that's where you're going on your way to hell. You're wanted for treason. You're a traitor of the United States. It's affecting my life in a, in a major way. Oh, because of lies. Moss testified, I'm most scared of my son finding me or my mom hanging in front of our house. An outbreak of lead poisoning linked to pouches of cinnamon applesauce for kids is under investigation. CBS's Meg Oliver tells us it may have been intentional. Sarah and Ricky Callahan learned that their son, Rudy, had lead poisoning during a routine exam in August shortly after his first birthday. They say it took months of testing before determining what they alleged to be the source. One of that brand cinnamon applesauce pouches. To realize that those were the culprits, I think anger was very much our initial response. One of them is one of three companies the FDA has identified as having cinnamon applesauce products tainted with lead. In an interview with Politico, an FDA's official said it could be an intentional act on the part of someone in the supply chain. Britain's Prince Harry has won his phone hacking lawsuit against the publisher of the Daily Mirror newspaper and was awarded the equivalent of more than $180,000. It's the first of several lawsuits he's brought against tabloids four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 54 degrees in San Francisco.